Welcome to the bus clip instructional video. In this video, our team will showcase all features and functionalities of the bus clip, as well as provide the viewer with some tips on how to demonstrate the device to a new user. We'll start with unboxing your bus clip. In a standard bus clip box, you'll find a bus clip, a standard lanyard, as well as a charger and a charger cable. We'll now take a closer look at your bus clip. On the bus clip, you'll find a circular ring with a wire mesh. This is a sensor that will detect obstacles ahead of you. To the left and the right of the sensor, there will also be two buttons, an on and off button and a change mode button. Now let's talk about operating your bus clip. Locate the on and off button using the tactile mark on one of the buttons to the side of the sensor. Press and hold this button for three seconds until you feel a series of short vibrations. These first vibrations indicate the bus clip's battery level. Four vibrations meaning the battery is above 75%. Three vibrations indicate that the battery is between 75 to 50%. Two vibrations indicate that the battery is between 50 to 25%. And one vibration indicates that the battery is less than 25%, meaning to charge the bus clip soon. After turning on, the bus clip always starts in a one meter mode. To change modes, locate the change mode button with no tactile mark. Press and hold the button for 3 seconds and you should feel two rapid vibrations, indicating that the bus clip is now in a 2 meter mode. Press and hold the same button for 3 seconds, you should feel three rapid vibrations, indicating the bus clip is now in a 3 meter mode. To turn off the bus clip, press and hold the on and off button for 3 seconds. You should feel a long continuous vibration, indicating that the device is now off. The bus clip can be used as a wearable, handheld, as well as have the ability to be attached to a cane. When wearing or fastening your bus clip, please ensure that the vibrator housing and the main body always go underneath what you're wearing. Only the top of the sensor and the buttons should be exposed outside of your apparel. Make sure that the sensor is not covered by anything like a scarf in order to avoid false positives. Please ensure that the sensor is as parallel to your body as possible. Ensure that the vibrator housing on the back of the device is always pressed up against you or in proper contact with your body to ensure that you're feeling the vibrational information that's delivered to you. The bus clip can be worn many different ways based on one's mobility needs. It can be easily clipped onto a shirt, t-shirt, sleeve, sweater, jeans, sweatpants and more. Multiple bus clips can be also used at once for greater coverage around one's body. This would give the user much more information about their surroundings. Your bus clip can also be used as a handheld. The rounded top can be rotated so that it pushes up until it locks at a 90 degree angle. This allows you to hold the bus clip in a hand similarly to how you'd hold a flashlight. We recommend using the 3 meter mode while using the device as a handheld. To bring the bus clip back to its unlocked position, gently push the rounded top a little past the 90 degree angle and then slide the plastic stopper to the right. This will allow the top piece to fall down, returning the bus clip to its normal resting state. The bus clip also comes equipped with a cane adapter. The rounded opening on the adapter snap fits onto the cane and then the back of the bus clip perfectly slots into an open slot on the adapter. The cane adapter is adjustable so that the user can angle the bus clip based on their preference. Angle down for obstacles waist and below, and angle upwards for obstacles above the waist. The cane adapter is useful for when standing or sitting, for example scanning the environment around you at a bus stop to detect people going by. Here's a diagram showcasing the different ranges available on the bus clip. The angle of detection is a conical shape from the center of the sensor. When the bus clip is clipped onto your upper body in a 2 meter mode, the detection range will cover you shoulder to shoulder and from your waist to just about the top of your head. In a 3 meter mode, the detection range is slightly wider and will cover you from your shins to just about the top of your head. The frequency of vibrations for the bus clip increases as you get closer to an obstacle. The bus clip delivers 3 strong rapid vibration when it's 50 centimeters away from an obstacle as an indication to stop and proceed with caution. We'll now go over the best ways to demonstrate functionalities of the bus clip to a new user. Place the device on the user at chest level. 
move out of the field of detection and gradually move towards the user, allowing him to feel vibrations get stronger as you get closer to them. Have them put their arm out once they feel the three rapid vibrations. Next, have the user walk towards you in the same fashion and have them navigate around you or other obstacles that may be present in the environment. The bus cup is equipped with an automatic sleep mode to conserve battery and avoid irritation during chats and lineups. For example, while having a conversation with someone, the device will stop vibrating after 5 seconds until you or the person you're speaking with move. In a lineup situation, the user can detect the person in front of them. The bus cup will stop vibrating after 5 seconds of no movement, and as the person in front of you starts moving forward, the bus cup will kick back into gear, allowing the user to follow the line. The battery on the bus clip will easily last up to 10 hours under rigorous use and can be charged using a standard micro USB cable provided in the box. The micro USB charging port is located on the main body of the device. Just plug in the cable into the port and charge like a standard Android device. Lastly, in order to attach the bus clip to a lanyard, Thread the thin rope on the lanyard to the small hole on top of the device and feed the overall lanyard through the hole, allowing the user to attach the bus clip to a lanyard for added safety and security. Thank you for watching the bus clip instructional video. For more information, please don't hesitate to visit the Frequently Asked Questions page on our website, www.immersive.com, or contact us directly via email at infoimmersive.com. At